Dr. Strubel decided to search for endophytes in Medidi because of its tremendous biodiversity. Rainforests possess far more species of plants and animals than any other terrestrial environment. Over 100 species of trees can be found on a single acre here. With so many plants vying for space and for sunlight, only the fittest species survive. And the fittest may be those plants whose endophytes produce the most powerful chemical compounds. Dr. Strobel will be looking for specific clues as he tries to discern which plants possess key endophytes. One clue is when plants recover from physical injuries or disease. Such plants may owe their survival to endophytes. seen you a couple years. Rockefeller University. Yes, man. <laughs> another place, another time. Yes. <laughs> I'm a, a bench lab uh, biologist, a molecular biologist, uh, and so I had never come to the rainforest, and I definitely wanted to see how Gary does his work, and I think that's the only way of learning what he does, by watching him and talking to him on, on the spot, on the place. I would like to see some of his work and perhaps try to do the same kind of things back in my country. It doesn't take this Gary long to find a plant that catches his interest. Oh, look at this. This is something that's interesting. It looks like it's a monstera species, small vine. So why is this one interesting? Uh, you know, over in Australia, we sampled a vine that the natives told us about that are used for uh, treating cuts and wounds as an antiseptic sort of thing. I have no information, as I did in Australia, that... that uh, Does it look similar to something? No, else? it's not in the same family. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's small, insignificant. There's huge diversity here. Uh, sometimes we just have to take a chance and see mm -hmm. uh, what, we can, uh, what we can find. Normally, when we uh, take a sample, we certainly don't destroy the plant. We won't cut the vine off at the base. We'll uh, take a side shoot of it. Uh, that is uh, relatively uh, insignificant here. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we only need uh, a couple sections of vine. Let's uh, bag it and, and uh, tag it and get it ready for carrying back to the laboratory. Gary carefully packages each plant sample to ensure that they won't be damaged on the journey back to Montana. After recording the plant's GPS coordinates for future reference, he's ready to continue his search. So, let's see what else we can find. He's heading upriver to San Jose, a small village in the northern part of Medivi.
The people of San Jose have an unrivaled knowledge of the region and of its medicinal plants. Their help and advice could prove invaluable in Gary's search. But you welcome to my well, village there. Thank you. Okay. Pedro. Welcome for everybody. Gary Strobel, how do you do? So you've had malaria? Que usted le dio malaria? Sí. Yeah. Estaba con la malaria hace cinco años. He ido al lado de River Alta. But she, she, she got it five years ago in River Alta, the frontier with Brazil. Ask her how, how what the symptoms were, what, how she felt, uh, what happened. Que cuáles eran los síntomas, que cómo se sentía. Okay. Her brain, her brain hurts. Your head hurts. And the, and the spine. Oh, the spine. But sometimes she wants to yell and run. Really? From the pain. Hago tratamientos con vegetales. Así un poco estoy bien. Después otra vez. Pero no estoy sano siempre del completo. Siempre estoy mal nomás. And fever. That, que si tiene fiebre también. Sí. She was saying that she uses vegetables sometimes to cure her mm -hmm. herself. That. We suspect that there may be things here in the forest that are in this group of uh, organisms called endophytes that can help with the suffering or alleviate the suffering of malaria and uh, diarrheal diseases and cancer and uh, tuberculosis and a whole raft of other things that people suffer with. Uh, many times, uh, people working in a lab uh, s situation day in and day out are uh, removed and uh, distant from uh, where the actual suffering of the human population is. Certainly those in clinics uh, get to see this every day, but I'm not a clinician, I'm not an MD. I do plant science, and uh, for me, uh, an experience such as this was just great. I'm really sad that uh, such suffering goes on, and I think it uh, adds an impetus to what we do and what I do to make things better. This program was made possible by support from the National Science Foundation and by the National Science Foundation's experimental program to stimulate competitive research in Montana and by the Montana State University Agricultural Experiment Station. Additional funding was provided by the Montana Board of Research and Commercialization Technology, the Pamela and William Phillips Foundation, the Ken Grahl Family, Pan American Travel, Janiel Biotech, Richard Gray Sr., and Blythe, Benjamin, and Calvin Brookman. Jewels of the Jungle is available on DVD for $20 plus shipping and handling. To order, call 1-800-426-8243 or order online at montanapbs.org. <laughs>
Download this episode and more Terra at lifeonterra.com. Thank you.